Hey guys, welcome to today's Paint a Palooza. This is where we go live sometime on Tuesday and paint all the things from our Saturday Thrift Hall, or at least most of them. It's just a fun way for us to connect, show you how we turn thrifted finds into money because we sell things at jamierayvintage.com or in our retail store in Lehigh. I'm going to drop the link in comments so that way you guys can purchase any of these items that might still be available. And then also I'm going to drop the paint link. All right, so let's jump right in. Jamie's dropping links. Um, I had this, you, I guess you could call it a nativity. It was Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And here, whoa. And these were hand carved in the Holy Land, stamped on the bottom says that by Sheik Zaid. I don't know how you say that. Um, the hand was broken off of Joseph. But I noticed that his sleeve was really long. I thought I could get a little bit more hand. So what I did was I carved the hand. This is probably more of like a waist knot Wednesday. Um, I carved the sleeve back. And so now he's got a hand. I, I took like a little, little knife and put some grooves for the knuckle indentations. And I'm trying to carry it around and give him a thumb right now. Um, and I just have like a tiny little file. I was carving it, but this, whatever wood this is, is super hard. Um, and it wasn't carving good with the knife I had. So I'm just filing it down. And I'm not going to go for perfection. You can see this original hand here is not, I, like it, it's okay, but it's, it, it's unique, right? <laughs> hand carved. So I'm not going to like stress out if the fingers on here aren't completely perfect. But now he's got a hand. And I am happily painting over this like red finish that's been getting on everything. I don't know what they painted it with, but it's it's like uh, oxidizing red. I don't know. I'm painting it with uh, DIY's pennies from heaven. It's a copper patina. I did just drop the link for this. It will over the top of the red. I actually think we're going to get a really great color without having to do tons of coats. Like the color is going to look good, like a good base coat. Um, and the patina has a like, like a built-in sealer, so it's going to make my life a lot easier. I'm going to be painting three things, at least three. I'm going to do this frame. This is for the picture of Jesus and the lamb. And I'm going to paint this bucket and this little candle holder copper. And then I may do white or dark wax. Haven't decided which one. Thanks for sharing, Amy. Leslie missed her doctor's appointment, uh -oh, which is an hour and 20 minutes away. That is a long drive. It is a long drive. We, I, we live in a, not a huge city, but we are only half an hour away from the biggest city in the state. So we're usually never more than 30 minutes away from any doctor's appointment, no matter what. Okay, so I got to finish getting the floral foam out of there. And then this has a gap and it's a little loose. I'm going to re glue it and then re nail it down. This had some rings on the side you guys know how i feel about rings so i took them off <laughs> of course I, you snapped them I right could, off i actually just pulled them out i didn't have to there was no snapping but i could put them back if i wanted to but i don't think i'm going to so this is probably hot glue on the bottom here and it's just peeling right up i'm just lifting the edge with this uh razor knife this scraper and it peels right on up Oh, almost go. got it. Well, that okay. Better, but... Now that's gone. Oh, there's some right, right up here. I don't know if this is the original paint job or somebody decided to paint this red on here. Can't tell. Diana says, I don't have anything to paint today, so I'll watch a crochet and drink coffee. That sounds like Crocheting is awesome. It's like one of the best things. I used to crochet, but my hands do not to like watch, to do that anymore. I used to watch my grandma do it. She, she would post up and while she was visiting with everybody, she'd have needles going. She'd it's a crochet be, hook. Knitting is needles. Not okay. that I was. Knitting, crochet. Like she did all the, she did all <laughs> the things. I don't, I was like 
five or six, you know, you know, I don't, I might know, have to I don't do, know what all the things are called. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do two coats on this. Well, I say things wrong even when I do know, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So generous amounts of glue in the back here. Leslie says, I have tribal health care. I think my um, Renee's husband does. I don't know that he uses it, but he has access to it. I don't have enough Indian in me. I have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We tried to do one of those, like, my mom did one of those things where you send your DNA in. But the problem is that a lot of the Indian DNA is not in those registries. So it's not true, super accurate. The sticker is on there good. Oh, Sue just purchased Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Your little hand carved set. Well, I'm about to polish his hand up and sand it a little. And the hand isn't perfect, right? But it was completely broken off before. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good you about it. You saved somebody's work from going in the garbage. Because literally, most people would not buy that and fix it. That's why we love doing thrift flips. It's not, I mean, it also it makes us money and gives us stuff to put in our shop. But it also saves so many things that people are not willing to fix up, you know? Some things are good as is, right? And some things are literally like would not see the light of day. Oh, J J Jerry, I can't even read it. Jerry Lynn said she just got her order yesterday. She said she got a bunch of fun stuff in the mail, but she has three commissions. So she's got some custom work she has to do before she can before you came to play. play with her new stuff. Does the church close for lunch? No. If you tried to go there and it, they did, didn't open the door, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maria and Kaziah are there now. We want one time when we were in between employees, we had an employee that didn't show up quite regularly. And there were a few times that we had to shut down for that, but we had, it's been a while. We haven't had to do so recently. But we have two full-time employees, so they take turns. And on Wednesdays, if Maria is not there, Kazaya just eats lunch on shift. Because we're not, there's usually some time that they can get in there. Corey says, see you soon. He must be headed to the shop. <sighs> All right. I am going to, well, I was going to. I was going to set this aside, but I got to get this glue off the front of this. This First. frame is really shiny, so it's definitely going to take multiple coats of the patina to get full coverage. It looks pretty crappy when you don't get the full coverage, but you just got to be patient. Oh, yeah, just, just one coat will be good, and then it'll stick on there nice coverage. For the second Especially coat. on that black or like a bright white. All right, I think After that's I'm as done. good as that floral's coming out. After I'm done with this, I'm going to work on my clock. I love that I bought that, but you get the job of fixing it. That's how it goes. Sometimes I do that for you. You buy weird stuff. I wind up painting it. All right. We're going to set this aside for a minute and let the glue do its thing. It needs to dry. Usually this wood glue sets in about an hour. Can you use transfers over milk paint? Yes. Uh, uh, as long as it's not like super chip. Well, you can do it if, it, if it's chippy, but just know the transfer will chip. But yes, you can use transfers over milk paint. This is getting a transfer on it, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not painting it first. No, no. We just need to clean just, it really good. Yeah. See if we have a Lysol wipe or something, something you can clean that with, and then we can put a transfer. I don't know that I, I usually use traditional classic pots, classic mm -hmm. pots, but I think we're all out. So I don't know what I'm going to put on that. I mean, I'm not out at the shop. So if we don't have anything here that we want to put on that, then we can just go to the shop. We're always, see how, look at the difference between the coverage on this and the coverage on the first few things I painted. Those were a really matte finish and I got much better coverage. This was super shiny. So that first coat just doesn't look very good. Move it over here. To the stove, also known as drying rack. I'm going to move uh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph so they don't accidentally get paint on them. So this had floral foam glued down in the bottom of it. I got to get. Oh, did you want to? 
oil this? Um, yeah, I got to oil right. his hand up where I scuffed it up because the rest of it's like a nice shiny finish. I just wanted lacquer. to move it so that way. It's like crayon or something here. Crystal Rubing says, my daughter and I are painting and putting molding paint and inlays transfers on everything. We've done a dresser, a couple mirrors, big 3D letter frames, and a woven pot waiting for dark and gold wax to finish up. So fun. Nice. It's addictive. It is addictive once you get started well, painting it's, all the things. Well, it's creating things. It gives you like, like not only does it give you a sense of accomplishment, but you get like all these fun endorphins and serotonin and stuff, you know, like look what I did. And not, not like a pat on your back, but just it feels good to take something like the little hand back there that was busted and going to be thrown away and make it new and give it new life and purpose. Do you have a screwdriver handy? Actually, I do. Maybe. It was up here in the last live stream. Is it in the knife drawer? No, I didn't put it away. It's, here it is. We were live. If you guys are channel members on Facebook or, or subscribers on Facebook or YouTube, for the paid group, we just went live. Um, I can still get in and post. I can in the Jamie to the JRV subscribers page, um, but Jamie cannot. She's still banished. I still don't have access to the Jamie Ray Vintage page, the business page. Ironically, Facebook knows that I'm attached to it because I get notifications. It's like cruel and unusual punishment because I get notifications now that I I got my personal account back. And it shows Jamie Ray Vintage in parentheses, and then the notification will show up. But I click it, and nothing happens because I'm not connected to that. So I'm patiently waiting for Facebook to figure out its life. I think the hackers screwed up something on their back end, and they oh, is that mirror broken? Yeah. Does it show on the underside? Let me see. You might not just have really. to put a little picture in there. No, I think it'll work. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna go get a transfer. No, for this. it's just barely like I don't think that's bad. I think I'll re-photograph it and keep it as a mirror. I don't know how that happened. I was so careful. See the edge chipped off. But when you put it in, there's like a little lip on the frame. And it covers it. Okay. Carefully away the little shards all right so we're gonna do this this does have a tiny little chip up here i think that's fine anytime we find antiques they almost always have chips in them this is not an antique but no i'm just saying it's more, more authentic <laughs> do we want to paint this copper or should i paint something else this is the ephemeral melange it has one two three four five six seven eight i think copper would be fine. i'm like i'm asking you a question it has eight sheets in here this size, and there's – let me show you the – Oh, we have a question. Vicky says, can uh, Big Top be used for decoupage? Absolutely. Um, it's not as thick. It dries quick, and if you're using thinner decoupage, it tends to rip the paper, but it can be done. We have done it. All right, so here are the eight sheets. Let me see if I can get close so you can see all these details. Um, it's got all these small little almost like flower packets. And then the four big sheets with the, they're like, they're like the covers of magazines, like a seed catalog um, is what they remind me of. So we're going to put one of the smaller ones on here. I think I'm going to do. I have one of those silver things with the squares. Mine is what looks like brass. Would you leave it plain or something on the front? Oh, uh, the this? bucket? I'm getting rid of those flowers, I, and I'm going to put one of these transfers on there. Do that, you like it? I, 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 if, I, without seeing it, like I can't know if it looks cool. So, so these flowers are fine. They're just kind of juvenile. I would probably paint it if I didn't like the way it looked. But if you like it as is, you could leave it. See what I'm saying? I just haven't done a lot of copper patina. So now I'm like feeling the need to paint everything copper. <laughs> but I just recently did something in it and I can't remember what. Oh, here's the one. Here is the one. Zeb has found it. 
Now, if I could find, did I put my, I might have put my scissors up. Those aren't the ones I had, but these ones will work. Are you painting the large gold frame from Arizona? Nope, we did that for business coaching. We can show you channel what membership. it looks, sorry, for channel membership. We did that live, uh, but we can show you what it looks like. It's out like. drying in the sun right now. We can show you what it look, looks like, but the repair has been done because it had two corners that were kind of cracked and chipping off. And we wanted to, uh, we didn't want to charge project price for it. So I fixed those and we're painting it. It's, it's got the copper treatment like Jamie's doing. And then we're going to dark wax it once it needs another coat of copper, but it's too big to spread out on the, the counter right now. Uh, we did that for our, in our paid group, we'll show it to you in a little bit. And then, um, we already sold it to somebody who's picking it up locally, which is nice because then we don't have to ship it. Okay, so this is the design I'm doing on this picture. It's going to be perfect for floral. It says to use for decor only on the bottom of this picture. Right, you, you don't got to not be scared and just commit. I was it, feeling scared for a sec. If you're tuning in, this was painted with a cake batter on Saturday, and I'm just painting uh, some areas with the cottage color and white linen so I can two-tone it. I'll see if I can grab that link for the cottage color that I'm using. The nice thing is this has a built-in sealer, so it's covering really well. So because the pitcher is rated for decor only, so will the transfer be too. That's a weird sentence. The, the transfer, transfer will also be. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that it would be, uh, I think that it would be for that way anyways, because once we put a transfer on, it's always for decor only. Yeah. I mean, you, you can, can put flowers it. in it. It's watertight. It'll be wipeable, but it's not submersible. We'll say that. You see me leaning over here. Caitlin doesn't typically moderate these legs, so I'm dropping links. Just dropping a link to the paint I'm using. So I got a little narrow up top. I got a couple little wrinkles. I'm just going to use my finger to run the air bubbles out because it's wider down here, narrow up here, and it didn't didn't quite lay perfectly smooth, but we're, we're just about there. I'm almost, all right, smooth that right on out. Oh, that's pretty. Now you could put a, some liquid patina over it, but since it's for decor only, it's stuck really well on there. We're gonna leave it as is. I'm always looking for white ceramics or cream because it looks so good with transfers. Focus it. This is just way cooler than the, the picture has a good shape on its own. I just, it's a good transfer. Um, Vicki, on the liquid patina, she is correct. Liquid patina is thicker and has a longer drying time, which makes it work well for decoupage. Big top is thinner and does not stay wet as long. So you have to work fast, but you can use it. Do you guys remember this tote that had like the weird triangle bunny ears on the handle? All I did was I put it on my miter saw and uh, very carefully and slowly cut it. And then just sanded the top and looks so much better like this. I think I'm going to do some uh, rice paper. I on think that somebody was trying to get creative. Yeah, in you know, their shop project. It, okay, so these transfers are stuck on here pretty well. I don't think like they're. I feel like they're underneath the finish. So I'm just going to. I'll just sand them so that way they don't leave a ridge. Yeah, well, I don't want to see them underneath either. That's what I mean, a ridge. What are you, how are you finishing that? I'm going to put a transfer on it. That's a better one. Oh, you're not painting it? No, I might. You're going to need to because you just scratched the heck out of that. And so it's not it's going to look all scratchy. No, it won't look scratchy. I'm going to, I'm going to do the, I might have to paint it. This isn't coming off of here. All right, give me like a half a second. I'm going to go use big boy sander. I'll be right back. He's going to use the 220 sandpaper on our random orbital sander. That's what that means. Yeah. The big boy sander. It's loud and electric. And I'm just going to be over here hand painting this, although I made a slight mess up on that ledge. So I'll have to come back with cake batter, but I'm getting there. Oh, I missed a whole bunch here. 
Are you in the same time zone as Colorado? I think that we are. Are they mountain time? It's actually, two-toning is kind of nerve wracking because it has to be neat. I can't just slap it on there, but it's also kind of therapeutic to do something a little bit more precise. It just takes patience. So we have, our weather has been crazy. A week ago, we had a foot of snow last, and well, last Monday. And then um, we, it snowed last Tuesday. And yesterday, we had a bunch of teenagers in the pool. And today, it's going to be like 75, maybe. It said only 70, but I feel like they underestimate it because they don't want us to get our hopes up. But I, I would say I'll probably get to 75 today. Hey, I'm gonna have to paint it. It has like a weird, like, like epoxy type sealer over the top of it. I told you you were gonna have to paint it. It's okay. We're gonna dive right. We're in. not afraid of painting stuff around here. No, nope. I would have sanded the whole thing though, maybe to give it more. Well, breath. it was kind of hard with the sander. To, here, I can give us some right. tooth to hang on to for the paint. Now I need to do the next tier. Sally says the look I just cast. Did I just cast a look when he said he was going to have to paint it? Well, it's not like regular galvanized. It's got some sort of finish on sometimes, the top of it. Sometimes we do like a sealed galvanized. Can you grab me the cake batter while you're over there? Because I'm definitely going to need to touch this up in a few spots. Yeah. And the clear wax. Or do we already have that? Mmm... Where is the cake batter? I'm just seeing. Oh, here it is. It's a quart. The clear wax is out. Southern California beach weather has been crazy. Um, well, this is the thing that's crazy is normally we go to California to get warm weather. And California did me dirty twice. Two times I went to California. It was cold and wet and rainy. Yeah, we tried. I tried. Two weeks in a row. I went one week, came home, went back another week for work. Arizona did not disappoint. It was nice and warm when we went. Just at the beginning of spring break, we went for a wedding, and it was fabulous. All right, so I'm going to do sandy blonde as my base color. Then once this is dry, I'm going to come back with the white linen in the cottage colors, which has the top coat built in, and that's going to be my final coat on here, and then I'll just put the transfer on. Why are you painting it taupe first? Why are you painting uh, it sandy blonde first and then white linen? Because this is going to give me like one coat coverage and dry real fast. Okay. And it might peek through a little bit, and I'm all right with that. You know, I, I love the sandy blonde right now. Uh, the look was when he was scratching it, and then he said he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. he's. <laughs> well, you know, it's one of those things. It's like I've seen enough projects to know, right? Sometimes in our minds, we hope. Well, we don't and a lot of times, something. like I know better. I'm just like just hoping that I don't have That's to do that much say, work. We're hoping that it turns out different, but then the reality we know sometimes there's just no getting around the work that has to be done. Day in the life of junkers. There are times that I'm like, maybe I shouldn't paint so much thrift haul that I could get more done, like my laundry. But then I remember I enjoy painting, so it's cool. So today, this afternoon. Once, oh, I made a huge mess on top of here. Once my cement that is bad finishes curing up enough that I can put my posts in, we're gonna go rehang the sign, um, and we might do it. We might actually get some shop hours out there hanging. I'm also redoing the. As uh, soon as I get that done, I'm gonna go pull the old chicken coop out. It's it's like on its fifth run of chickens, and it wasn't a fancy coop anyway. The so. one. The, the white one, at one the shop that's there, yeah. That was given to us? Yeah. Um, and it was homemade out of pallets, and so the neighbor had it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll be easy. I'll just take that and, and move it over there. Anyway, so that's got to come out of the garden area. The sheep, um, I guess you could call it a sheep shelter, has got to come out of there. The sheep shack? Yeah. Um, and then... We're, we I might irrigation. Even, I might even start digging irrigation this afternoon. I need I don't, irrigation because I need to plant some flowers at the shop. So Saturday. there are bulbs. You wanted to do bulbs. There's like 20 bulbs in the back coming up where the grass was, where they had bulbs before. They've popped back up. Oh, you want to dig them up and plant them up front? I think we can for you. You can have bulbs because we were going to do some bulbs and we just never got over there the to get them going. The bulbs are still sitting in a bag. 
Well, in our defense, it was like a foot of snow. Well, a lot yeah. of times. Every well, time we tried to do it, it was like snowing. It came, fall came so early and winter that we just never got around to it. But yeah, no, I'd like to well, do what that. What was that post you showed that like the last time it was 70 in Utah October. was October? It's like seven, seven months of seven winter. Seven months be between like 70 degree weather. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy. Because usually the end of October, we have some 70 degree days. Occasionally we'll have a Halloween where it's nice and warm. And then we all have a few 70 degree days well, popping I was talking up in to March. Jimmy, when we were when we were in our other house, like all the guys in the neighborhood would get together and we'd do like a like a turkey bowl down mm -hmm. at the park. It'd be like 65 degrees on Thanksgiving Day. And that yeah. was not happening this year. <laughs> this is the war this is the coldest global warming I ever had. <laughs> it runs in cycles, right? Depends on what, what part of the cycle you're on. It's like a seven to 10 year weather cycle. Well, and people say, oh, weather was never this crazy. Weather has been this crazy in Utah. In 83, they had a bunch of snow, not as much as we've had this year. I think since they they've been measuring snow volume and how much moisture content is in it, this has been the most we've had. Yeah. Today is sandbagging day. The whole neighborhood is working on sandbagging. Yeah, we're getting together with the young men and the youth. And we're going to go take them down and fill sandbags. The city has actually provided the sand and the bags, um, but we got to fill them and put them along. There's a creek that runs pretty close. With some of our neighbors down the street, about a half mile away, they uh, are they considered neighbors if they're half mile away? Anyway, they're in our ward. Um, our ward is like a congr <laughs> our church congregation. Because yeah. here are for the church that we go to, which is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, long name. Um, otherwise known as the Mormons, if you don't know. But anyways, it's done by where you live. So like your congregation and because Utah Congregations has a, typically like 500 people. Yeah, Utah has like a high percentage of members. So our boundaries are pretty small. You just go to church based off of where you live. That's who you go to church with. But anyway, they live right down by the creek. And so we're going to go sandbag because legit there's like 10 to 15 feet of snow up on the mountain and with 70 degree weather it's coming down well and it's for the neighborhood it's not like just for people to go to, to church with us yeah anybody that needs help yeah for sure everybody will get sandbags if they want them but anyway we're gonna take our shovels and Fill bags up all evening. Should be good. I'm going to be at a chair thing, actually. Eliza's getting measured for her cheer uniform. And Zeb is on... Uh, That's all right. I'll probably take Jack. I was going to say, you're on Uber driving detail because Jack has football until 6. So you got to pick him up and then you guys can go over there. Yeah. Well, it doesn't start until 6, so that's, yeah. that's perfect. Perfect timing. Jack has football from 4.30 to 6. And I know it's not football season, so... Uh, the boy, my boys do seven on seven, which is like two hand touch. It's not tackle, and they do that in the off season. It's like a whole other world. It's really fast paced. Like I don't even know all the rules. They got like different rules to keep the game flowing fast. All right, that's good. Are you done with the white? Um, I guess I am now. Yeah, I am. I gotta wait oh, for that. Oh, you two tone to... that. Did you show them? Yeah, they saw it. I have to wait for it to dry and then I'll fix where I screwed up with the cake, like cake batter. It's easy. It's easier to do the top and not go over than it is to do the bottom and not go over. I don't know why, but I love two toning things. I feel like it makes it look special. So if there's any questions, congratulations, Leslie. So you've been a channel member on YouTube for three years. All right. They three don't even make years. a badge, Leslie. You exceeded the badges. You got the gold star, and that's where you're at. I'll have to make a make a new one for uh, people who have been longer than that. We'll have to change it up so that people know. All right. You need to do when that. Well, that's why didn't you just let that dry and then you could do something else. Well, I'm, I oh, I was going to paint that thing pink. I guess it's going sandy blonde. What thing pink? That ornate. I didn't even know you painted it. I painted that Saturday. Oh. <laughs> I got to dry and ready to be waxed. I am not winning a life Do you want to clear wax it? Here, you can clear wax it and then I'll dark um, wax it. 
okay, yeah, I can do that. I was like, oh, and you painted that? How did I not know? <laughs> not doing well. Okay, what color? In case you didn't know, there's some behind the scenes stuff going on, and Jamie's a little frazzled this morning. It's just my my Facebook page. Just that. I got it back, and then this morning they're like, like just oh, kidding, <laughs> just kidding. You your account's been locked again. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I got back into it pretty quickly. But I was like, seriously, and I'm still just fighting with them to get my business page back. I'm like, it's great. Like, I'm glad to have my personal page back. Um, I'm glad to have my pictures and my memories. Most of those were on my phone anyways. What I really need is my 140,000 Facebook followers and my ad revenue from all the content that we put on Facebook. So hopefully they know I'm serious now. And they stopped teasing me by putting like putting all the notifications in my timeline you know you get those notifications but then i can't actually get in there zeb is much better being patient and not freaking out i'm like in the car this morning i was like listen here satan go away stop making me grumpy like i really feel like it's a trial here and i'm supposed to be a good human even though i want to just, just lay in bed and eat junk food and lessons watch are learned TV. in five years you'll be like telling people about it and be like this is what i learned i've learned it already can i be done i wasn't gonna hit you <laughs> no i just uh i was I'm trying te to teasing i told you i told satan to get away i'm asking jesus to take the wheel here i was teasing and a little snarky Um, Zeb, if you buy a clock and it doesn't keep time, what do you do? Can that back piece be replaced? Yeah, yeah, I just have, buy the clock. So, kit. so if you go on like most most crafting stores, will have spare clock. Amazon kits. has them. We Walmart. we bought like five hundred wholesale, wholesale a while back because we did craft kits that were clocks, and so I have a ton of these. Oh. Um, they're fairly inexpensive depending on the clock and how big you need Sorry. the kit to be. You can get them from anywhere from probably like six bucks to 20 bucks. If it's like a really big clock. Should I paint this tote cake better? And you can just replace that mechanism back there and you're good to go. What do you think? Or a lot of times we just like, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't use a clock on the wall to tell time ever. So we fix all the ones we sell. We make yeah. sure they're working when they leave. Like all of our clocks that we have around the house are purely for decor. They're like antiques. They're from Europe um, and they don't work. And I'm not paying a, a clock smith or whatever you call those people hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands to come make them functional again. Well, every time you move a clock, you have to have it reset like the antique ones. And I move my clocks all the time, depending on how the decor suits my fancy. So I just don't mess with them. All right, you guys see how good if I did. So, so the white linen covers pretty good for a white. Um, but since I put the sandy blonde on here, I've got like one coat coverage on the sandy blonde. It stuck really well to this galvanized metal. And now I've gone with the white over and I'm pretty much getting one coat coverage with the white. So two coats of paint here, maybe two and a half if we're cheating with the, so you use the DIY. Yeah, I definitely yeah. is going to need another coat. Yeah, I'm I'm going to touch it up, but it, it made it stick really, really well to that clay paint. Um, so no you use the DIY asked. paint like a primer. Pretty much. Because it was so shiny. You don't have to use a primer under the cottage color, but it does save you some steps. Well, because I'm if putting a shiny. transfer on here, I am going to do another coat. It's just going to save me the sealer step is what it's going to do, doing another coat. Okay, so we'll put that over there, let that dry up for a sec, um, move on to our next project. Actually, I need to get, I need to finish that hand. And I'm using cake batter to paint the inside of this. Well, I'm painting the wood part on this. I don't think I'm gonna paint, oh, what, there's, maybe I am. I might just paint the outside and leave the inside metal, but looks like they use Sharpie on the outside, which I don't love. Oh, really? Oh. Probably measuring. They want to see sandy blonde and cake batter side by side. Um, all right. Oh, well, that's not going to work because this, hold on, hold please. You have that sandy blonde and this. Oh. Just go wash that brush. <laughs> hold on. I'll just use the clock. 
That's what happens when I get distracted, Leslie. All right. So cake batter, sandy blonde. This cake batter has not been sealed, so it will be darker when it gets sealed. But Cake batter is like a fun, bright, pastel yellow color, and sandy blonde is kind of like a moody, brownish, going blonde situation. Don't tell my sisters, but as they've, got, they've gotten older, they're no longer toehead blonde, they're sandy blonde. They aren't even sandy blondes. Yeah, they're getting brown. <laughs> Your Katie is definitely a mousy brown, and so is Maddie. I don't know what Barbara's hair is because I haven't seen her natural hair color in a while, but I think she's still blonde. Am I sandy blonde would be like Odelia's hair is sandy blonde. Yeah. It's starting. She said that she's going to because everybody always thinks that her and Cooper are related. She takes her blonde and gets blonde highlights in it. She said she's not going to put any more blonde highlights in it and let it get a little bit darker. It's not going to so, help. So that way... Like, they... their complexion is the same. <laughs> their, their faces are She's both like, then round. people won't think we're related because Cooper is a blonde blonde. They both have blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have very... If they if they get married, they will have very toe-headed babies. But anyways, Cooper's Odelia's boyfriend, in case you're wondering. But people always ask, think they're brother and sister. Okay, so you see the, the finish on here and then how that hand, you can definitely tell I've done something with it. I'm just going to put this tongue oil right over the top. Bam! Look at that. As that cures up, that'll bring it back a little bit. It'll lighten up a little as it cures. Okay. Now it's got a good finish on there. And doesn't it's I mean it's not as aged as the rest of the wood because I just carved it, but um his hand is back, kinda. He's got he's got knuckles. He's like he's like re he's, he's like gonna a, reach out. He's giving you a fist bump. But look, see now he can be he's putting his he's he's supporting Mary. Oh, baby Jesus got some of that red on him. You better clean that bit. That's yeah. old. I'm cleaning it off right now. My baby boy, Jared, and his girlfriend have been together about as long as Odelia and Koopa. Everything's their sibling says as well. Yeah, it happens. Cooper is way larger than Odelia. Like, he's super tall. Odelia is like 5'3 on a good day, and he's a solid 6'2. And his dad grew after he turned 18, so Cooper is not done growing. We hope his feet are done growing because he wears a 15. It makes it hard to find shoes. Soaking it up. Whatever wood this is, it's absorbent and very hard. I can't, I can't, I, I want to say it might be olive, olive wood. It could be because don't you get a lot of olive? From yeah, they got the Holy a lot Land? of olive trees out there and they're just pruning them and throwing that away. I mean, I would and... assume it's in Jerusalem because Jesus used the terminology, you know, the olive branch and all that stuff. That would be cool if it's made out of olive. It looks like it could be, but I'm not familiar enough with olive wood to like be like, yeah, that's what it is for sure. Okay, so I'm going to leave the inside of this metal, but I'm going to paint the outside of the metal with the cake batter just because th they did use Sharpie or whatever when they made this. I'm so glad you rescued this, though. They had the weird, sh weirdest shape. Well, I was it. like, that's a pretty good little tote, but the the top was not not my jam. All right, did you you have the uh, blue iris out? Is that for these? Yeah, I wanted to paint those all in blue iris on the outside, just on, outside only. And then the inside, we're gonna tongue oil. Tongue oil. That oh. way, they can still be food safe on the inside, um, but so that way, people want to use them for fruit or whatever. And you can seal it with tongue oil too, on the outside. Man, the DIY. It's been a minute since we've been into the blue iris. It's thick. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. You can if it's too thick, you can always add water to it. I think it's going to be perfect for just slathering. It's going to give you some good coverage on that wood. Mm -hmm. What time is it? As long as he's not punching Mary, no, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I think Joseph was a pretty upstanding guy. Julie says, Jamie wears her heart on her sleeve. I hope you get your page back ASAP. I have no poker face. You are correct. It sometimes gets me sympathy, and sometimes my poker face annoys people because you know exactly what I'm thinking. 
It's not <laughs> intentional. Like some people make faces just because they want the world to know. I my face just makes itself. I try. It's great. I never have to wonder. I'm pretty honest with my with my words too. Sometimes I try not. Sometimes I don't say what I'm thinking just because I don't want to be unkind. That's the thing that sucks sometimes. I don't really like confrontation, and so I try not to say too many things. But then sometimes I like stick up for myself and I go too far. The struggle is real. Zeb always strikes a really good balance. So like whenever we have to deal with something uncomfortable, I make Zeb deal with it because for whatever reason, his delivery, he could tell people the complete opposite of what they want to hear, and they still love him afterwards. Not everybody likes me. It's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift, really. All right. I the. The ends, perfect coverage, not going to need two coats because it was raw wood. The sides are shiny metal, and that cake batter is kind of streaky, so it'll definitely need two, two coats. <laughs> jo Joanne says, my face makes itself, loves this. It's so true. And Julie says, she's the same. Les says, the problem with me is that my poker face looks like I've got a poker face. <laughs> 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 I love you, Leslie. Odelia was talking about Leslie the other day, and she's like, I just love her so much. And I'm like, me too. All right. Let's fix this. So when I did the two-tone, I made it a petite mess. So I'm just going to touch gonna, that up. All right. I'm not going to paint the bottom right now. We will get that in a moment. That's kind of fun. Made that cabbage rose situation. It's a good color, right? I we're doing the bowl spot, too but you're gonna do two coats right yeah all of them are all getting the same on the outside that way i don't know if it, i think one of them has sold but the other one hasn't so then they'll look good on display together this says milo wood carved in hawaii well I, I told you i thought that was all polynesian like somebody polynesian owned it so that would make sense so i'm just touching oh check over the edge <sighs> you fix one color you mess up the other at some point you got to say it's good oh enough. whoa was plowed right over this and then sometimes when you just stress it one or the other colors comes through so i might have to touch it up some more but that's all right okay that's oh and i had a few spots under here that were need to be touched up from the first paint job so we've been going through the garage now that it's warmer weather and we can actually pull some stuff out um and we found the uh, you guys remember that carousel horse from a while ago that needed the tail <laughs> reattached it's still there i think if i get time this evening i might address that tail and we might when uh, you're not sandbagging listen that's only going to go until dark i got a lot of hours of work left after it gets dark what did you do last night after i fell asleep i woke up and you weren't in bed oh i was i was like doing print stuff oh. all right I'm going to come back. I'm circling back to my copper items. What color is Zeb painting? Zeb is using water. No, that's water lily. It says blue iris, but that is water lily. Are you sure? Yeah, because blue iris is like a royal blue. So they did mislabeled we mix? It. That's why. No. Is that why we have it? Is Yeah. Okay. We have it I've because... been telling you wrong. It's water lily. Sorry, it's water lily. Uh, blue. It was labeled wrong, and that's why it's in our paint. Because whenever something comes, we ship a lot of DIY paint. A lot. We're actually, I don't say this to boast, but just to say that we really do a lot of DIY paint. We're their number one retailer. And so because of that, in one in every 1,000 cans of paint gets damaged or mislabeled, and it comes to live at our house. Because we're not going to throw away good paint. In fact, there's some old 57 that exploded in the last oh i saw that it's like four shipment. it's like all yeah. over everything so in the box we, we always get refunded because we can't ship it but then we just use it for projects hey renee she was in a meeting hopefully your meeting was good so two coats and right, this is getting on. complete you're being with so good it's Virginia. Virginia. So when that dries, I will either should I do dark wax or white wax. I'm thinking on this, I want to do white wax. I don't know. Where's Odilia? Everywhere I touch, I gotta like touch it up. 
So once this is all done and dried, I will paint the bottoms, but that'll probably happen later because every time I paint the bottom, it inevitably gets flipped over. I don't have time to let it dry. I got to move it or something when we're doing these videos. I think it's all like smeared and scratched and weird stuff going on. Or a random paint color you don't want on the bottom gets on the bottom. Yeah. So, oh, which reminds me, I need to fix the bottom of this. Maybe I'll do that here in a minute when it dries. Um, Grandpa's on here. I haven't seen Grandpa in a while. Hey, Grandpa. She was back like a week ago. I know, but like previous to that. All right. <laughs> Elaine says, I was thinking about the car. See, hmm, that doesn't look like water lily. So it is, it is water lily because it's not blue iris. I'm going to look it up. I'm Now I got to know. Water lily. I think you're right. The blue iris is like a royal. Yep. It's water lily. See? Yep. Blue iris is a royal. Oh, the shop's busy today. That's good. I was worried it wouldn't be busy because our sign is not down. But I guess the people that know us, they know we're open. We have our open sign out. Yeah. And see, blue iris is like a dark color. See? Yeah. So this is water lily. Water lily I and white wax is really pretty too. Like if you don't want something quite so bright, you can add white wax to that and it's gorgeous. And I, I would like have this never... a good spring. Like it would pair really well with the... Uh... Cake oh, batter? Yeah, the cake batter. Yeah, that's why I picked it. So that'd be good together. Um, I would have never thought about water lily and white wax, except for back in the day before we had so much shipping that our gals at the shop can see straight. They're so busy shipping all the time. Um, I would have the gals at the shop help me paint the thrift hall, which I'm hoping to eventually get back to that point um, once we have a spot where they can really just paint stuff. But um, Jean painted and she used water lily and white wax, and it was fantastic. And Jean and Lauren used to paint a lot. Yep. I might do like a project of the week and have it out there so that way when customers come, it gives them something to paint on. Because it's good for them to use it because then they learn how to, uh, like how the products work. Because I really felt Jean got a, a hankering. And remember when Jean painted her front door and her shutters with DIY paint. She loved it so much. She uh, used it at home. All right. Jean, I don't know if you guys remember Tanea. If you ever came to the shop and met her, um, Jean's daughter Tanea worked for us and she's coming home from her 18 month mission in Las Vegas tomorrow. Oh, has that already been that long? Yes. That went by fast. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, didn't she just leave the other day? Is she going to go to college when she gets home? And um, why can I not? What was what was Jean's other daughter who worked for us name? I can't remember her name, but she's going into medical school next year oh, at nice. the University of Utah. She's going to be a doctor. Before Tanea, come on. No, Camry. Camry is going into medical school. Jean's got really smart, great kids. Um. Jana says, I need pennies from heaven. You do. I dropped a link earlier. Let me see if that's what's still on my. Um... Yes. No, that's white linen. So hold on. I'll drop the link for pennies from heaven and I'll drop the link for water lily here. Okay. I have to talk to myself while I do stuff. It's okay. You got all the expert advice. <laughs> when I need expert opinion. Dr. Lily. I like when you go to the search engine on jamierayvintage.com and you start to type something in, it will give you suggestions. So you don't have to finish typing it in if you don't want to. So like if you type in water lily, if you just type in water on the right hand side, the water lily pops up. Oh, you know what we should probably tell them about is craft kits. Oh, craft kits. Yeah, we you can only show that have to like the 15th to sign up if you're not. Yes, I will do that. That is correct. Let me get the copper patina link here too. Copper I, patina is awesome, and it's like a good, it looks like copper when you're done. Yeah, it's not cheesy. It's not like a rosy color. It's like a good orangey copper. 
I'm just gonna write copper and then put the link so I don't have to type out all the words one-handed. Okay, um, I'm going to grab the craft kit so you guys can see them. We've got to cut out. We so haven't finished it. A lot of people it. are already signed up. They've on, they're on their their quarterly recurring craft kit subscription. You can do a one time. It's a little more expensive for the one time. The quarterly saves you a little bit. And you can cancel any time with the quarterly, so you don't have to keep it forever. It's not like a lifetime commitment. Also, Caitlin would probably go ahead and tell them about that and show them how that's going to work. We'll probably talk about it again on Saturday. Um, well, and we might even finish it. Eventually, we might do a video. See, so we have a Thursday shop tour. So maybe, I don't know, some point we'll go live randomly and do the video. Or we'll do an edited one. We might do an edited video this time just because I'm so fast at editing. It's so easy. To it's so simple. That, yeah. yeah. Um, and Deb used to edit and it took him longer. Anyways, show him this while I'm painting this. So you get it comes in two pieces. You're going to get the frame and the backer. We haven't decided we might do the backer a little thinner just because it doesn't need to be that thick. And we might just leave it all the same so that it gives it a little more girth and makes it a half inch frame. Um, but this is going to fit one of the rice papers in there. We're going to send you two pieces of rice paper that are going to be designed for the craft kit. One of them will fit within the frames and make sense so that it looks like four individual pictures. And then the other one will be kind like of probably scene. more like a scene on there. And you could put that in there too, like you're looking through the window. It's going to be your decision to decide what you want to do. I haven't quite figured out if I want you to glue these together or if we're going to do like a, I don't know. I want to glue them. I think, I think it'll be like a one time once you decide on the paper you put in there, it's going to be in there and you're going to be done. Yeah. Well, you could also, here's a, what you could do. We're not going to put any like hardware on it for you. You could decoupage this side through the window and then decoupage this side. Is it fit exactly? Yeah. Or yeah. is there a little I hand bridge? cut this one out. So, it's, so it'll, we'll it'll fit so exactly. It fits exactly. So you could decoupage both sides. That's what I'm saying. There you go. You got one side that comes through the window and one side that's just on the back. And then we're going to give you paint to make the window look chippy. So you can do whatever. You can do one side, two sides. I just like to send options so that way you can use the other paper on a future project or you can do two-sided. Um, but hopefully we'll get that video up done. Here, done. Up soon. I swear. My brain does not always say the words that my mouth thinks it's going to say. Or should I say my mouth doesn't say the words my brain is thinking. Something like that. All right. Look how pretty that is. There we go. That's square. That's square. <laughs> Hand cut. <laughs> yours will be yours will not be hand Yours cut. will be cut out with the CNC. Our prototypes, we always hand cut them to get it just right and then do it. Right, Jana I says am... keep it thick. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it thick, I think. Leslie says I got a tax extension. We'll do taxes in May. We have tax extensions. That's our life. We were gonna try to get it done. Just didn't happen. Just never, just never enough time. No, we're mostly done. Like we're probably three quarters of the way. In our defense, our taxes are complicated. We have, we own two LLCs, one that owns the property and then one that owns Jamie Ray Vintage. And Zeb is 51% owner of the properties and I'm 51% of Jamie Ray Vintage. That's just how it worked out. So sometimes he's the boss, sometimes I'm the boss. He's my landlord. <laughs> Denise says, hopefully something like the cow in the pasture. Yeah, so one will be a pastoral print and then the other one will probably be something floral. I have so that way several it's... pastoral prints that we've got the licensing on that I've been working on getting and, and uh, making sure that that's lined up right. So there will be more coming. We'll probably actually have some uh, new prints, regardless of craft kit prints, out here by end of May, April, 1st of May. It has to be, remember, we have to get it out to the retailers first, so. Yes, we promised them. We we didn't give them enough lead time last time. That's my fault, because we were going out of town, and I, I also knew that Debbie's brushes were coming, and also um, our new paints with cottage colors should be soon, so I was like, I gotta get them out. So that, right. that was on me. So this is Leslie's box that she bought. We're, I don't know that we're going to get it all the way done, but I want to get the dark and decrepit on there. 
and then we're going to milk paint it eventually. My plan is to darken and decrepit the whole thing, and I'm only going to milk paint the outside and leave like the brown stain inside. So that's the plan. Are we darkening and decrepit the whole box? Filming a CNC cutout would make a great video. You know what? We've done it before. I filmed it. It's in a Maybe few videos. Should... No one was like, no one that watches our channel was like, I mean, maybe a few but I it wasn't it, popular i could put it like in a video of something else right like if we we always have our videos that come out well not always but i'm trying to make it so every friday at 5 a.m i upload the video to youtube that involves some sort of painting project so maybe we could do a video where we're doing something painting and then we also give a behind the scenes showing what's going on with a cnc machine or we could include that um, in the video that we do on the craft kits, which we'll make available to everybody because we like to do that video before the craft kit sign up is over because a lot of times when we do a video on the craft kit, then we sell a ton. Aren't you going to paint the inside first so you don't get your, all over your hands? I'm not going to do the handle. Okay. I'll do the inside. I always like to paint the inside first because I always make but a mess. But you got little you, hands. You are meticulous. I can get down into the bottom without even having my hand in there. Is that birdhouse ready to be painted? Um, I don't know. It Jamie's has... side is darker. Like, what side? I don't know. Your side the, of the camera? Maybe. I'm tan, I'm more tan than it's Zeb. A shadow. Can you tell that I've been outside by the pool? I'm sunburned after yesterday. Um, Lorraine says that looks great, Zeb. What a difference! What about an edited behind the scenes video that encompasses your entire business? Holy moly! That'd be like an eight hour video and then we still wouldn't get the whole thing. If you watch all the videos that we do, that's our whole business. We pretty much don't so do it. We don't do a lot of kind of a camera. synopsis, we have Jamie Ray Vintage. We have Instagram, Facebook. Did you not glue this? I did. That bottom doesn't get glued. That's just the way it is. Are you sure? So we have all the social medias that we manage. Um, and for mo the most part, we have paid for most of them for ad revenue. What color do I want to paint um, this? We have stencils that we manufacture for wholesale and retail, uh, the paper that we manufacture for wholesale and retail, um, the brushes that we don't manufacture, fortunately. Unfortunately, I'm thankful we I don't said, manufacture. I said fortunately. Oh, I just said unfortunately. I'm like, I am so um, thankful to not manufacture these brushes. The, the brushes we have, the shop. Um, we also have, we're, we're trying to get the cottage as an Airbnb. We will film the cottage. We'll do it. We'll definitely do yeah, a cottage filmed. series. Oh, Odelia is going to be swimming, I guess. Is it? Did is you it put time? that new filter in yet? No, I'm going to vacuum it again before I put the new filter. Oh, in. okay. Cause when I vacuum it, there was so many leaves on the bottom after. You can do a the... CNC short. Yes, we can definitely do a CNC, CNC short but anyway there's just a lot of a lot of hats we wear oh and the website didn't mention the website which website fortunately kate yeah which one <laughs> the wholesaler the retail caitlin manages the website for us mostly i put in like the thrift haul stuff ivy was helping me for a while but she's been doing a bunch of other stuff and um i figured out a way to like make it faster to get my listings on there for the thrift haul so i just do it because I had to go in and price and name stuff anyways. But um, yeah, we do some of it, but mostly Caitlin manages it. She's pretty good about that. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot of things going on to make all the wheels go round and round over here. Vicki, I saw your um, Hey Sailor piece because I, I thought it had like a little red cardinal on it. I think I just didn't get it. I was like in the, about to comment and then I got distracted, but that piece is so cute. Uh, what is the size of this craft kit? It's uh, just slightly larger than a size of the new A4 rice paper. So let's say A4. Here, we can measure right now. Well, that I'll may... I'll take a pause. Yeah. I want to make sure that it's the exact same size of the rice paper so I've... you can do it on the back. Oh, you want it to be smaller? Oh, yeah. Because I, I made it so that there's a little lip. I guess you could just paint a frame. Yeah, you can do what they want. Or they can leave it blank. All right, we'll leave it that size. So yeah, because I've already done all the math. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll leave it. We're not. It's nine that. and three quarters by thirteen by half an inch thick. Yeah, I have all my calculations and measurements for the holes and how far apart they need to be out in the garage. 
I have to clean my house all the way before I did a day in the life of like, I show a lot of behind the scenes, but there's just some things I don't want the world to know. <laughs> we, I used to be a really good housekeeper, but I think some of it's just, we have so much going on. And then some of it is literally, I, because of like my recent thyroid and some health issues that I've had, I do not have the energy I once had. I still get a decent amount of stuff done, but by the end of the day, I'm just like done. Well, and the end of our day is at like 10. Well, for me, about two o'clock, I'm ready for a nap. Well, that's why we do business coaching at 1 30, because if I waited till two, they wouldn't get the best of me. Because after two, oh, after yeah, we also do business coaching. After 1 30, <laughs> man, it's, you just never know. But we could do some day in the lives. Those would probably be a Friday video, because those ones are a little bit more vlog style. I've been, the sound probably isn't perfect, but I feel like I am getting better on editing videos. I'm learning some things. I, I edit all the videos on my phone because I don't like using a computer. It feels too much like work. And I like to sit, like I can sit there and watch the kids do something and get a video edited at the same time. All right, we're getting this painted up in cake batter. I'm going to paint the roof a different color, but I don't know what. What color should I paint the roof? Hmm, that's a hard. You should do like a black tin roof. Black and yellow? I think yeah, black and yellow is fine. It's it like a like B. It's like a football team color. It's like a B. All right. Well, I'm not going to do that. I might like paint a it white. Like a bumblebee? <laughs> I love you dearly, but Come I got to just do it. Just do it. I got to do this good. Oh, we got to fix the camera screen. We have about five more minutes. And then we are going to be head over to get ready for business coaching. So the dark and decrepit on this tote that I'm doing is going to be the base color. We'll milk paint over that. And then hopefully if we get it to go right, the dark will show through and be awesome. Um, Zeb is using dark and decrepit as soon as I get this coat of cake batter. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to let this cake batter dry all the way. I'm going to do a second coat and then I'm going to paint the roof. Because if I paint the roof next, then I go to paint more cake cake batter cake batter cake batter i'm just gonna get more cake batter on the edge so if i just do this all the way let it dry all the way and then do the roof it'll be a lot easier or roof roof is that what it's called no roof it's a roof it's not a i rough. said it right it's not a rough it's a roof the roof or if you're talking to your dad a riff a riff riff roof. i don't, I don't, I don't know. know he I, he said it weird i can't i can't even duplicate it, right. it. I'll drop the link to the dark and decrepit Zeb is using. It has an all built-in sealer. It's an all-in-one. You can water it down, use it like a stain on raw wood. You can build it up to make it darker. It's really cool. It is a amazing product. And the color is similar to like a dark walnut stain. Only it's not yucky and oil-based. I feel like you guys get the point. Like you can still see the weird stripes. Those are going to go away. But I think once I put white on here and then if I do that bird transfer... Is it in brocant, the birds? Wouldn't that be so cute across here? Yeah. Okay. It's a rough roof. Did I say that? Oh, that's that's a good way to know it. Dark and decrepit roof. A brown, I think a brown would be okay. I feel like black would be too garish. Well, it's already got a brown roof, except for you painted it. I didn't paint. Well, I yeah, I didn't mean to paint it. All right, dark and decrepit, dark. Let's see if I just type up dark. Yep, dark and decrepit pops up. All right, this has a built-in sealer in it, so I'm trying to make sure all my brush strokes are mostly straight. Yeah, because all, all it'll the show. different directions on here. Well, it's just going to be a base coat, except for the inside. It's just going to be a base coat. Yeah, I'll probably have to come do the inside it. again once it's dry, do a second coat. We'll do the bottom uh, once this top is dry. Somebody said copper roof, red roof. Oh, the copper could be cool. Copper I and like yellow? that. Just try it. You can always paint over it if it's not good. I don't know. Do it. Just do it. Give into the peer pressure. Don't peer pressure me. Okay. I'll just paint the inside of that with my finger there. This is gonna come live over here for a minute. 
white milk paint. I think that's what it is. Sweet Pickens milk paint. I knew what you meant, Leslie Johnson. We got Leslie Johnson and Leslie Jackson on here. I've been asking for a while, but how are the new blue names coming? How about Ray Blue? So we have all the names picked out. I can't tell them to you because um, we're going to do, do a release, but um, they're all picked out. So we got it figured out. Um, we kind of think. So the labels are done. The packaging should be getting off to the warehouse if it's not already. And they are, I think they've been making the paint already. We're just waiting on the labels and they get enough stock so that we can do a release on it. They said dark and decrepit. You know, I'm just worried that it's not like it's because it's got a built in sealer. It might You're be gonna too thin. You're going to have to go like a bunch. I could do layered chocolate, which is similar. All right. What are we, where are we at? We've got so we're pretty, 114. We're pretty we well a done. Project. I did want to show them the frame that I just did. Do you, oh, do you want to go get that gold frame? Let's show them that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Usually we do a pan, but all of our projects are half finished. So all right. I will do a short. We didn't so you guys have see quite it. two hours today like we usually so do. This is from not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. We printed, printed, we thrifted an antique frame and we, Zeb put a print in here and, and we'll a mat. In. And then he professionally, he did the back with brown paper. And I don't know that it's professional, but it's on there. Yeah. There you can see the print good. It's the same as the rice paper. It's just bigger. Yeah, it's a bigger um, image. And this we just listed up on the website. And then do you want to go grab that big gold frame? Um, yep, I'm headed out. So if you guys remember the big gold frame from Arizona, we started that on our channel member live. And we did not like the shade of gold that it was. So we did, Zeb did the repair and then I painted Oh. <laughs> And we put it outside to dry and I used golden ticket, but I'm just looking, I had started some projects with popsicle sticks and put them outside to dry and it looks like the wind blew my popsicle sticks over. But this is probably not going to look a huge bit of difference to you because you have to have the contrast, but the gold that the frame was, that Zeb's bringing in was very orange and we wanted it to be more gold gold. So we used the golden ticket. We will let this it dry. It wasn't even like a gold, it was like... It was like bronzy. Like a, we're going to do one more coat of golden ticket on it and then dark wax. And then we're going to put a big print in there. So it may not look a lot different big. to you, but I promise you it's getting better. And we fixed some of the big cracks. So there you can see it. And there I got to go. get a print done up and put in here. We're going to have to mat it. It's going to have a big fat mat around it because this frame is huge. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. You can visit jamierayvintage.com to buy any of these projects or to buy the paint and products that we use. If you like this video, hit that share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. I'm over you here. Are. You're over here. All right, guys.